Hello Trailblazers, hope you are doing good and uh, welcome again to the YouTube channel Panther Schools. On the last video we have talked about uh, what is singleton design pattern. We have seen how easily we can manage the SQL queries as well as the number of records that are being returned from our SQL query. Now before we go ahead and talk about the other design patterns. First, let's talk about what interface is in Salesforce so that whenever we are talking about the next pattern, which is a strategy pattern, we will be able to quickly relate with why we are developing this strategy pattern and why we need to develop and how to develop that. And there, basically, you will be able to see okay, this is where the interface is being used. And with the help of that interfaces, you will also try to uh, make the changes in your software development application because interface is something which is really really important for any software development life cycle so please do like share subscribe the channel and uh, let's quickly start so let's talk about what interface is in terms of uh, software development life cycle in terms of software development uh, languages so basically interface provides you the level of abstraction or we can say that interface let the developer to achieve the level of abstraction where we only display the functionality to the end user when we talk about functionality to the end user and, uh, and that means uh, for, let, let's quickly take an example over here say that everyone we might have used the calculator to calculate some uh, logical equation in our either graduation or even whenever in our schooling so what we do is we just say okay 2 plus 2 equal to 4 the, we usually get the 4 on the screen and we don't know and even we don't want to know what is happening behind the scene and how it is doing the trick or uh, if we talk about another exam uh, another example if we talk about that is coffee machine in our day to day office work you know, we try to drink coffee right we don't bother about what is going behind the scene either how it is taking coffee beans uh, the water and then all those necessary things whatever is there how the coffee maker is working right so that is what we are seeing is we are seeing the abstract things we don't bother about what is going behind the scene and how we can achieve this that is something which this interface is there so with the help of interface we can achieve the level of abstraction and it also reduces the complexity of the code the complexity of the code how it actually reduces that we will see when we exactly implement the interface over here now again we'll talk about uh, another example which is a real time example so that you will be able to relate it so now which if we talk about car or we talk about truck and we talk about some other type of vehicle right so if we talk about all these three vehicles these are car is a vehicle right truck is a vehicle if you talk about gypsy or we talk about jeep is a vehicle now here one thing that you have might have noticed is, is a so when we talk about interface interface is used to establish is a relationship so we'll say tr uh, truck is a vehicle car is a vehicle or motorbike is a vehicle right so that is basically where we say interface is used to establish is a relationship now when we talk about you see the interface or the look and feel for all three vehicles are different but there has to be a one start and stop mechanism. So every vehicle will have their different kind of start and stop mechanism. So why we have this start and stop over here? We have just wanted to discuss that start is going to be a method. Start vehicle will be a one method. Stop vehicle is going to be one method. Now in a normal development cycle, what developers do is they create different different classes like car. We'll say that cars. We say that uh, trucks, we say that gypsy, and then under those classes, we have these different methods, and then they have their own implementation. But what we will see here is how the interface will help us to reduce the complexity. Now, this is how the interface will look like, or this is how the interface will work. There will be, let's say that we are going to develop one interface called vehicle, and then these three classes is are going to implement the interface vehicle. And under that vehicle, we will have some common uh, methods like say that ignition or uh, uh, we'll talk about uh, what the speed is, how, how we are changing the gears, all those kind of things. 
all those common methods we can have inside our vehicle interface so now let's quickly go ahead implement what interface is okay and how we will implement it so for this what we will do is we'll take one uh, example we'll take one scenario without interface then we will convert the same scenario with the help of interface like we did in the previous video the singleton pattern so let's say that we have a requirement of uh, getting the latitude and longitude of any account contact or some other custom object uh, which they have the address so the requirement is to face the latitude and longitude of any particular object or any particular given address okay so what you will do is basically let's say that we are going to create a simple class and we'll name this class as geocode okay and let's say just name this class as geocode now here what we will have is we will have a method so let's quickly have a method uh, i'm just going to make a method public static void and it'll say get latitude longitude okay and just here and what we will do is we'll say okay go ahead and return a list of decimal for now we're just uh, having a decimal simple decimal which is going to return something some dummy value okay let's say that it is going to return some some dummy decimal it is returning okay this this is what we wanted to uh, do over here and then this return type should also be made to decimal now we will be easily able to see okay what is the error okay it should be return new list decimal okay now we are able to make our code which is okay now we got a simple class geocode here we are having get latitude and longitude and let's say that this method is basically using a google apis to get the latitude and longitude okay so now there could be one geocode service class uh, there could be something let's say that you are creating some account geocode okay i will say account geocode and this is a class and from this class under this class you will also have one method okay you will say public and uh, you can say static void and get latitude and longitude this is the method and from this method what you will do is you will say okay go ahead and call geocode dot get latitude and longitude and then uh, this is going to return a decimal so you can also say list of decimal and then you can store somewhere okay this is the place and this is the variable with where you want to have this latitude and longitude you got it you it is working fine now let's talk about uh, for example this is working fine okay again i'll just go ahead and copy this uh, same description over the method so we got it over here now the, it is working fine perfectly you you delivered this to the client and client is saying okay wow that's really great working fine and you got some appreciation now let's talk about say that client is trying to say okay go ahead now give me the ability to integrate with different system it could be us geocoder or core um, there is some open case geocoder or there are some, there are some other geocoding api right for now let's talk about we have couple of options that client had given to us one is google map which is uh, google api which is already there okay and let's talk about google api and then we have talk about us geocoder this is another api and then we have got uh, let's say that open case is there another api okay open case geocoder and this is another api that we have got now let's say that customer is saying okay go ahead and give me the ability to integrate with this uh, these and based on which particular like what are the criteria so let's say that there is a field on account and we'll say that uh, geocode service okay this is a picklist field or type picklist a picklist field is there now this picklist field initially contains these three values okay these are the three values contains by this picklist field so what you will uh, what they will say is okay if there is any uh, if the google api is there then call this google api then if there is geocoder api then call the geocoder api if this is selected then call this and then give us the latitude and longitude so what you can do is you can even this geocode service this is get lang uh, latitude longitude which is for google you might want it to have uh, three different users okay um, different methods so let's say that it is uh, open case okay open case geocoder then it could be us geocoder okay 
Now these are the three different methods that you have found. These are returning some different values. This, this is how they are returning the values to you. Okay. Now what we'll do is you'll say let's quickly now accept a parameter over here. You will say okay let's go ahead and accept a parameter called account. And then here what you will do is you will quickly put some condition and you will say okay if uh, acc dot uh, geocode service okay this is our main this is our picklist field just for now we haven't created into the sandbox or even in our developer org but we are just having this over here okay I've got this it's Google API then call Google API geocoder and then what you will do is you will say okay go ahead and have it on the top. So what you have to do is you like this, okay? You'll say, um, okay, this is not actually Google API. This is uh, Zio code, okay? You'll say Zio code, which is going to call um, like this, okay? Okay, we have got get latitude and longitude. Then we have got open case Zio coder for the second version, and then for the third version we have got a US Zio coder, okay? This is for, okay, this is for US, and the other one is for open case Zio code. Now we are not sending anything for now. We can just uh, make sure it is a blank. We can send it. That is uh, completely, uh, we can say, not, not required as of now for this demo. So this is here. Now what if, say that uh, your uh, user is saying, okay, your customer is saying, uh, okay, that's working fine. Now I wanted to add few more. So what you have to do is you have to quickly come to your Zeoport class, make the changes. Uh, you have to quickly come to your account zero code class and then make the changes right you have to do all these things so in, to get rid of all these things what we we do is we say okay or we will kind of develop a interface okay and uh, with the help of that interface we are going to have few things how we are going to have this is let's quickly have over here so we will create one more class and i will name it as uh, zero code okay I zero code API. Okay, this is my interface. I'm starting with letter I. The reason is it is going to stand for interface and create default class. Now instead of uh, class, what I'll say is public interface. And this is uh, interface for us. Okay. Now we've got a public interface, and uh, if you don't know what interface is, interface is basically again we talked about what is, but how to develop that. Inside an interface, we cannot have any method descript uh, like definition. We have only we cannot have any method implementation. We can have definition, but not implementation. So if say that I wanted to have a, a method which is going to return this list of decimal, and I'll say uh, get lat lat okay latitude and longitude, and then it can accept uh, let's say that a string of address because based on address we wanted to implement or inter uh, like return the latitude and longitude now we got it over here if you wanted to have other methods you can have so this interface now have we have got this uh, multiple let's quickly go ahead and deploy this you can have many more methods over here like get latitude longitude or uh, you can have let's say that get address based on attitude and longitude and you can just uh, put some decimal like you can say uh, decimal latitude and longitude so these are the two methods that we are basically and then it could be instead of list of decimal it will be returning a string of address okay now we have got these two methods and then we are we have just deployed now we know that initially we have three service provider or let's say that even one service provider so what we will do is we'll create one more class and we will say that google zero code okay zero code okay and then call this now we've got this Google Geo code and we can quickly say, okay, go ahead and implement this interface. This is the keyword implements and we have to give the interface name over here. Now, as soon as we give the interface, we implement any interface, we need to make sure we are implementing the method which are there in our interfaces as well. Uh, in the coming videos or in your uh, uh, say that uh, carrier you might have used database.batchable or uh, queueable or schedulable. These are the interface and all these interfaces have some sort of methods that you have to use. Similarly, we have to use the interfaces over here. So we'll say, okay, we there is one method called get latitude and longitude. So we'll say 
public the written type of method is decimal and then the name of met method is get language latitude and longitude and there is one more which is uh, type of again public method written type is a string so we'll say that public a string and this is and let's quickly make it as a static the reason we are making so that we don't need to instantiate the class you can directly access method with the name of class okay now we've got these two methods we have just implemented we have easily implemented okay this is what we have got now this is the geo code we can uh, consider this geo code as a geo code uh, factory class we can consider this this is our service class we can consider right so now what will happen instead of this account geo code let's quickly have uh, now here we've got this this is for G google geo code okay and then we will have uh, similarly let's quickly copy this code and let's quickly have uh, us geo coder okay i'm going to create basically two classes not all okay so we'll say implements okay implements this is i geo code api is our interface and then these are the methods that we need to have now let's go ahead and now we talked about right we cannot basically if we haven't talked about we cannot instantiate the interface that means if we have an interface we cannot create an object like this if i try to have uh, if i try to create an object and say interface equal to a new like this okay and then i try to execute this anonymously i'll basically not be able to execute this i'll get the error okay let's quickly wait for this execution you can see here unexpected token interface and uh, we've got some error execute anonymous okay and uh, zero code new zero code so basically even uh, we will basically obj uh, object and demo something we can do interface might be a reserved keyword that's why we got this uh, now if you see a successfully ran okay you can see here we got the error and um, which is saying that type cannot be constructed and this is the name of our class which is actually interface now as we cannot create the instance of our uh, interface but what it can do is it can hold the reference of all the classes that are implementing this interface now what is happening this google geo code is implementing the igeo code api interface that means this igeo code api can hold the interface no not interface hold the reference of your class which is google geo code similarly us geo code is a class which is implementing our interface that interface can hold the reference of that object how let's quickly talk about we are here under account okay uh, let me quickly remove this we have got this account acc and this is something here what, what we can do is we will say i is your code okay and let's say google uh, google is your code okay now how it can do is it will say new and we can say google is your code and this is the name of our class just to make sure that this is the correct okay yeah so now what we are doing is we are saying that google is your code is a i is your code api that is we say is a relationship now what what we are doing is we are saying google geo code and then now this google geo code can call method like say that get latitude and longitude and uh, we can just put some address over here like this okay we can just put the address and here whatever we want like we had to store the outcome in our we will say that list of uh, not account will say with decimal okay this is what we have got we are just able to uh, this dot decimal and uh, lat long and this okay we got this so this is how we quickly call this with the help of our uh, zero code api okay now here what we can do is instead of uh, directly calling it from here what we can do is let's copy it uh, paste it over here from our uh, let's quickly remove this okay here uh, we are going to call it from here okay and then we are going to return this latitude longitude whatever we are getting from those methods 
now what we will do is we'll also accept or we'll accept okay let's say that a string zero code service service name okay this is what we are accepting as a parameter and then again what we have to do is now we have to say okay uh, we have got uh, if uh, zero code service name equal to equal to there could be google or something okay and then let's quickly okay we can say google okay google api and then we'll say else if zero code service name equal to equal to let's say that us geocoder api okay this the name could be anything now this is what we have got and then what we have to do is uh, we have to create this interface over here and then this latitude and longitude on the top of our class and then this we are going to put over here we just basically making sure that we are using for two values over here for now okay now what will happen okay we got it over here now what will happen whatever like this is from here what you will call is how, how you will call you will say geocode dot uh, get latitude and longitude and here you can say sec dot uh, geocode service okay this is the quick list field that you need to pass it from here for now let's quickly pass it as google api this is how you need to pass now what will happen this will return you the list of decimal so you can just say okay lat lang and this is what you've got and then you can also do a system dot debug now what we had is basically we have uh, uh, one interface which is having the required method that we need to geocode either address or latitude and longitude then we have the implementation for those like we've got get latitude and longitude and here we can return a new list of uh, decimal whatever we want okay so we have got something over here and then here we can return something the address some some dummy address okay that's a, that is what we've just over here and then we can just deploy it and similarly we can just uh, use the same for our us geo code and we can change some value over here so that is basically now here you see right what you are doing is you are having one implementation class which is saying okay if you wanted to implement geo code you have these two methods use these and then provide the implementation now what is happening over here even uh, in this class we are also even still we are using if else okay uh, we are using some sort of if else for now where we are uh, preparing the interfaces not interfaces the reference of those implementer classes those are google it could be anything now again here it could be like uh, there could be one thing in our uh, mind like okay how we are again using if else if the user says that there are multiple then we have to come and use this f l right and that is true but what we can do is let's quickly go to our apex uh, not our here let's quickly go to account okay i'll just go to account and then i'll open my org and then after opening the org just go to setup and under setup what we'll do is I'll go to over here under the account object and then say we've got account okay and then under account we have to create a picklist field which is geocode service that I already have which is the one which this is geocode service okay we have something over here so we have created three classes right for two classes geocode and google I'm going to copy this class name okay so what I have is I have these values over here like google maps uh, qzis a3 tom tom geocoder mapbox so what we have to do is we have to create the pick list values over here with the help of say that uh, i'm going to add one pick list value and i'll just give my class name over here just the class name whatever the class name is okay and then i'll add it if i have record type if you have just go ahead and add it i wanted to add one more pick list field which is us geocode okay these are nothing these are the classes the name of our implementer classes go ahead and save it now what we will do 
we have got these two things right uh, us geocoder and google geocoder then there is something called us geocoder i'm just going to deactivate this because we already have that us geocoder but for now these two values will work for us okay now what we will do is now we know that these are the class names let's get back to our class which is google okay no not this geocode class what we have to do is we'll say okay now i'm going to remove this fls whatever it is now i've got this geocode service name okay that's fine before we go ahead use that let's quickly use this geocode api from here where we are using this okay here we have to pass acc dot and then the name of our field which is google geocode service this is what we need to pass it over here from this class okay go ahead and deploy this now what we are doing is we are saying okay i have account but it says that variable does not exist geocode okay okay there might be some error in this class what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and first deploy this class because this is a dependent class so we have to deploy this yeah so we are able to successfully deploy the code now we'll get back over here into our class which is account geocode this is the class which will be called from our apex trigger controller it could be batch apex your visual force controller your lightning component controller could be anything okay from anywhere it could be called now we are passing this geocode service and we know that this class this picklist values will always have the name of our class okay now here the name of our classes we will have so what we will do is we've got this geocode service now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a standard class provided by salesforce which is type now this type class has a, a very important method which is for name what it does is it returns the type object so what i'll say is type t equal to and then i'll say type dot for name okay and then here i have to provide the uh, whatever my class name is so what it will do is because in this string parameter we will have a string we don't have the class okay so what we are doing is we are saying okay we have a string over here but somewhere we have the class name with the same name so go ahead and give us the name of that class now here what you will do is you will say okay now you have the interface name i geocode api and you can say okay uh, geocode you can say geocode equal to then what you will do is you'll say type dot new instance okay new instance and we will say we have got this sorry not this type dot new instance is not t dot new instance is the method okay now what we are saying is this go there find this class and then return the object for that class now this class could be your google api this class could be your uh, we say what we talk about is it could be your us geocoder it could be open case geocoder it could be bing api it could be any api because we already have those classes implemented so we will be able to store the reference over here dynamically now we don't need to worry about that uh, what we are doing is now we can uh, say is geocode dot now what we need is get latitude and longitude and what this latitude and longitude is required it is requiring a simple address type of a string so we can say okay one two three whatever we want okay because we are returning some a dummy value we can store it in the latitude longitude variable and then return the same and then go ahead and deploy it now what we have done is very simple thing okay we are getting some error illegal assignment from object to geocode api okay yeah this was also one thing that i wanted to show you if you do this over here in this line you will get the error illegal assignment from object to geocode api because this t dot new instance return the object you can see here if you hover over you will see object system dot type dot new instance okay so what you have to do is you have to type cast you have to tell okay you are returning the object now convert it into my interface which is i geocode api if you do this now it is going to work perfectly fine we will be able to deploy our code to the or we're getting some error which says that there is no method called this um, because we have to first deploy this our interface first thing and the interface is successfully deployed there is no error we need to make sure that we have deployed our 
Oh, I think we got the error in case of interface deployment. Did we? No, we did not. Okay, we are able to successfully deploy now. And then we'll get back over here into our uh, geo code, which is actually acting as a factory class. We'll be able to save it. Oh, we're still getting get latitude longitude from geo code API. Is there anything? Any? Oh, there was a typo mistake. Okay. I did make a typo mistake over here. So basically, latitude and longitude, there was a mistake. So that's fine. Now we have made the changes. This time we should be able to deploy it to the org. Now we will do the testing for this with the two different classes and we will see how easily we are able to make it work. Okay. So for this, what I will do is I will quickly prepare a simple test. In the meantime, this is uh, the deployment is happening. I will prepare quickly a simple test. I will say account ACC equal to a new account. And here I'll just give the name equal to which could be let's say that salesforce.com and then we'll have this geocode service. Let's quickly talk about geocode service equal to and then this is the name of my class first. This is Google Geocode. Okay, I'll just paste it over here. And then what I'll do is I'll say account geocode dot. Uh, get latitude longitude and then I'll pass ACC. Okay, I still got the error get latitude longitude from the type geo code. Okay, now here we need to make sure okay the method name is correct. So we have to make sure the method name is correct over here. Um, I'm sorry, apology for this making type of mistake. Now we've got this okay, we've got this successfully as deployed. Now let's quickly execute this code with the help of uh, this particular class and we will see what is the debug and before I go ahead basically I'll just uh, turn the debug log on so that we can see the debug log I'll say turn launch okay turn the debug log on for me okay so the debug log is on I'll just go ahead now I'll go ahead and execute this so we'll just go ahead and execute the code the piece of code which we have selected and now if you see over here, if you have debug, it says that latitude and longitude which is null for Google Geo code. Okay, so we'll go over here. It is saying uh, we are returning something. We are also returning address. So Geo code dot get latitude and longitude. We are getting sending. Okay, now here uh, we have got. Uh, okay, okay. Now what could be the problem here is this is calling the self. So let's say that uh, I zero code. Okay. I zero code OBJ and then I'll I'm basically making the change over here. The reason I'm making a change because earlier the name of the variable and the name of the class was same. So it could there could be a reason that uh, uh, we are getting the error um, because of this particular class name. Okay. Because the class name and then it has the same method name that's why we get getting the error so we have just successfully deployed the new version of our code and this time we'll execute and then let's see what happens okay now you can see here right latitude and longitude you're getting the correct details over here 23.445 and then 53.445 this is what we are getting for google zero code now if you talk about us zero code we have changed this okay i'm just going to change the value for geocode service this time it is going to be us geocode and then i'm just going to execute the selected text and now this time if we talk about you can clearly see right this is what the value we have inside our us geocode so that is how you see right at the now we don't need to worry about that we don't need to make the changes over here uh, we don't need to make the changes in this class in near future if something comes up say that uh, there is something called bing api something comes up right so what you can do is you can just go ahead and create a class and use in case uh, say that bing api right you implement the interface okay let me quickly copy the code you implement this interface okay you have got this code now what you need to do is you need to make sure that because you are giving the user to choose which geocoder service they want 
you need to make sure that this is added in your pick list you can just go there and add the pick list over okay so i'll just go ahead from the pick list i'm just adding that pick list over here and once the pick list is added i can just give it a test for you and before i basically make the test i'll just go to the bing api and here i'll add a simple debug method i'll say okay get lat long inside bing api okay this is what the debug i wanted to display or i wanted to show you so that we can see okay the method is being called now let's go ahead again to the class we'll go ahead and uh, execute and you will see the magic what it will happen so now you're seeing right we're not making any changes anywhere now we're just creating the implementer class adding the value that's it now if you see here okay where is the debug we got this debug log which is saying that latitude okay bing api is this the one okay two three you, you have seen over here but this debug is not being displayed i believe yeah here it is we can see get latitude and longitude inside bing api so that is how your interface basically gives the ability to use which service to, mm, you need or the user need at the endpoint. Now there might be other questions like uh, again we have to go ahead and implement the geocode API add into the value into the tick list then definitely you have to because uh, there is nothing as such you can make everything done okay. So this is it about uh, interface again the very powerful uh, thing in the software development life cycle in the patterns this is again you can consider interfaces as a patterns where we are developing the factory classes with the help of interface so if you have any questions please feel free to put into the comment section and uh, if you are still here thank you for being here and uh, thank you for watching please uh, give me a subscribe give me a like that will help me to get motivated for putting the videos and uh, in the next video we'll definitely talk about the new pattern which is a strategy pattern and how we can use interfaces to implement the strategy pattern and take the same implementation into the next level thank you